So how many of you guys have ever heard the saying of every previous recession is viewed as a missed opportunity, but every current or future recession is viewed as some form of risk, right? What's going on team? It's Ricky with Techman Solutions. This video is simply to put things into perspective. It's never to convince you that you should take advantage of an opportunity, especially if you don't see value in it. We're just getting so many people that are freaking out on the day today. You know, Friday was a decent performing day and and it, it was amazing, right? Especially after the bloodbath of, of the previous you know, couple of days. Uh, market opens today, it starts off decent and then just aggressively pulls on back. One of the things that I wanna show you is, I wanna put into perspective, you know, how long has the market been pulling on back? First, let's go ahead and look at the NASDAQ market. Uh, as of right now, one of the markets that we are seeing being hit the hardest is definitely the NASDAQ market due to tech uh, and due to its big focus on tech, right? So we hit all time highs on the NASDAQ market right around the 28th of April, right? Today is May 17th. Have we pulled on back 100%? Have we pulled on back before, right? Almost last time that we hit almost an identical number, we pulled back even harder right at the SMA line and then we ended up recovering. Does this mean that the market has to recover? Of course not. Does this mean that the market will most likely recover? Well, it tends to, right? As of right now, we have pulled on back. We're not necessarily making lower lows, but you are correct, we are not making higher highs. But it's been less than a month, okay? We have people freaking out. We have people asking, Ricky, should I just you know step away? At the end of the day, do whatever you think is best for you. I just want to put into perspective the previous recessions and the ones that you and I can most likely relate to, right? I feel like a lot of the people that watch me are probably you know in their late teens, early 20s, maybe early 30s, right? And I feel like this general area, the dot-com boom, right? That one lasted eight months. And then uh, the, the housing crisis lasted 18 months. These are a series of other recessions. And you can see the shortest one was a total of six months, right? So this one, and, and uh, again, this was taken from the National Bureau of Economic Research. So it's just to put into perspective that how many times have you heard during the housing market crash that, man, I just, I wish I would have, bought houses during that time. Because again, it's very easy to say that looking back. How many times have you know we looked back and uh, due to the dot-com boom, right? And, and the crash, the flash crash that we saw, how many times have people said, man, I just, I really wish I could have gotten started or invested that early on during such you know a, an amazing time? Because we can look back and look at previous prices and, and reflect them to where they're, where they're at right now. We are less than one month in to what is going on as of right now. Talk about inflation, right? Uh, there's, there's, there's just a lot of different things going on. Tension with China, right? This like oil crisis that we have going on in the East. It's, you know, unfortunate to say the least, right? I, I agree. Is it anything in comparison to what happened in 08, what happened in the early, you know, 2000s? Heck no. And we have people whining, we have people complaining, we have people wanting to give up. At the end of the day, if that's what you wanna do, all power to you. We never wanna put you in a position. You should never want to put yourself in a position in which you cannot tolerate. It's one of the things that we say the most often, right? We almost sound like a broken record. But it is so important for you to understand that it's not during, you know, it, it's easy obviously, and, and it's ideal to you know, be in a position when the market's bullish, when the direction is in your favor and when the market's you know, bullish and, and, and making higher highs, you feel unstoppable. But it's during these times that because of these pullbacks and the margin that it has for potential for recovery, right? That this actually makes more sense when it comes down to profit recovery and profit potential to buy now in case it does end up recovering versus when the market is at 180 day highs and everyone is encouraging you to invest and, and, and get into whatever stock it is that they're into. Why when there's no margin? Why would we want to jump into something when they're at 180 day highs? Same thing with Bitcoin, same thing with Ethereum. Everyone's so quick to point the finger at Elon because of one of his tweets that sent you know BTC pulling on back, but yet they give him no credit for him being the sole reason on why it's even at that price, right? Hold yourself accountable 
for your actions. If you're not someone that understands how to take into consideration and put yourself in a position to succeed, you can't blame others for following the hype on something and you didn't follow through with a plan. What's, what's the very core and, and, and foundation of, of trading or investing? Have a plan, implement structure, and stay disciplined. Yet, it's the very simple things in life that people tend to overcomplicate. So, out of all the stocks, right, I, I want you to understand that I'm in the same position that you are. If you think that you're doing bad today, I don't know what the dollar amount that you're invested. I am down over $20,000. I was up over $25,000 on Friday due to the slight recovery. I am down over $20,000 today because Tesla. Tesla is one of my heaviest positions and it's down 4%. Guess what I did today? I bought 25 shares. I'm I'm keeping it light and I'm keeping it tight. One of the things that, a lighthearted way for me to joke around with you guys and a way for me to share that I'm not aggressively trying to buy the dip. All my positions that I have on Twitter, PTON, Pinterest, you know, Airbnb, quality companies that I personally see value in, I have light positions. Why? Why would I not go all in right now like many people right now? Because the market could continue to sell off. And it's just, it's, it's very naive to think otherwise. So instead of going all in and then the market pulls back 1% and then I begin to freak out because I can't tolerate that, that's the position that you put yourself in. If you can't tolerate pullbacks, don't buy early. That's simple, right? If you are someone that wants to take advantage of an opportunity, understand that every opportunity comes at some form of risk. If you're not someone that can tolerate one month of a recession and one month of red trades or red days, then you haven't earned the green days, right? Don't put yourself in a position to fail. That simple. So with everything going on with BTC, Ethereum, the overall market pulling on back, it it seems like it's the end of the world, right? It's just like everyone's freaking out. The only people that are not freaking out are the people that have more money to buy at the lower levels, the people that prepared. Again, it's the very simple things in life that people tend to overcomplicate. You don't have to approach the market in a very aggressive way just because others are doing it. Do what you think is best for you. Put yourself in a position to succeed. Look back and think how long other people had to tolerate the housing market crash over a year. Just think about that every single day. The dot-com boom, right? And the dot-com crash. We're not even taking into you know consideration all the other ones. I'm saying more within the you know um, time span of, of things that a lot of us can maybe take into consideration or maybe some of us have experienced. It's just, it is mind-boggling. People love to benefit from the green days, but don't want to put in the time and the effort to tolerate the red days. We're never here to convince you that the stock market is easy. It it should never, it's like, it's common sense that it's not. It's the difficult things in life that tend to follow with the greatest fulfillment. And trust me, the stock market is no exception. So I'm excited with the idea that I'm excited for the market to recover, but I'm doing it in a way in which I can tolerate. I'm trying to the best of my ability to put myself in a position now to be in a position to succeed. So if the market does begin to recover, then I can really begin to load up because I have enough available buying power because I didn't you know, blindly buy the dip like everyone else. And I'm also excited just in case the market does continue to sell off because it 100% can. Tesla, all those stocks that I'm invested in, 100% can continue to drop. But I'm doing it with a position size in which I can tolerate. So I hold myself accountable both for my successes and my failures, and I can at least learn from them and become one step closer to the overall goal. And again, it's not the goal of being perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect trader, a perfect investor, perfect anything, but it's working towards to becoming as close to perfect as possible. I wanted to just to make this video to put into perspective on how real this market is and how just like you and just like myself, there's the red days, there's the green days, just put yourself in a position to succeed in a position in which you can tolerate. I appreciate you guys' time. Friendly reminder, if you guys wanna use Webull, it's the first link down below in the description and you will earn two free stocks by using the link down below. Don't forget to join our free Facebook group. We have over 312,000 members and that's that second link down below. If you guys wanna watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, I work with this group every single day. It's the Learn, Plan, Profit group and I answer their questions in real time. So that's the third link down below and you can join us as soon as tomorrow at Market Open. Until then, I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Please share this video 
video with someone that you think needs to hear it. Um, and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it to the team.